Uh, well, it's a, a few days later, a couple of days later. Uh -huh. Now we're going to put more things to it. Uh -huh. Well, that gives it a whole different look. Yeah, little by little. You just uh, keep on adding stuff to it. Uh -huh. People don't realize that sometimes it's not just um, like if they can't figure out sometimes how the final product is made, you know, over yeah. a period of time. Yeah, the whole process that goes into it, it's, mm -hmm. it's amazing. And I, for one, I'm the first person to admit that I know nothing about art. Well, but Painting and that, but I, I appreciate it, I can really appreciate it, but I don't know what goes into it. Oh, there's somebody's Harley. Mm -hmm. The artistic process of this. Yeah, and I think a lot of it, when you studied like the basics, mm -hmm. you sort of learn certain things. But I guess every, every painter, just like as a musician does with an instrument, mm -hmm. they, um, they experience things over just doing it, True. Like practicing, and of then, um, you know, certain things you acquire just by mm -hmm. doing and experimenting and using different medias. Then and stuff. you develop your own. Yeah, style sort technique. of in, yeah. Yeah. Like I think this type of technique that I use sometimes, mostly for my uh, flowers, mm -hmm. any type of flowers that I paint. Right. I I grew up looking at those beautiful paintings that my dad used to have. Uh -huh. He was a fr friend of a very famous Cuban painter called René Portocarrero. Okay. And he was awesome painting like his flowers. Yeah. And he even did like female um, heads, oh, yeah. like faces. Yeah. But their hair would always be flowers. Oh. He would call them floras. Nice. So I grew up with that and even, you know, I wasn't back then, I wasn't even thinking of becoming a painter. Yeah. But still, just this heavy load of mm -hmm. oil and the different colors, because in Cuba, obviously, mm -hmm. well, it's very tropical, excuse me. Yeah. It's very tropical, so he, uh, he portrayed that in his uh -huh. paintings. Uh -huh. and, and then, Obviously, I never met him. He died right. a long time ago, right. and, and he was a friend of my dad's. I see. So um, I tried to figure out, you know, how he would have done it, mm -hmm. and so I I came across certain things, and well, sort of tried to emulate or or copy his way of doing stuff. Yes. If you close, you know, if you look close enough, then you can sort of recognize. Oh, okay, he used a brush here or, or a spatula and sometimes I noticed he would just look that he would do something like this so you as an artist you can identify those yeah, different techniques definitely. just by looking my, yeah. me I would look at it and yeah well, I would notice would. some difference but I wouldn't you know would what they used or out, what, but if yeah. you go here closely that's mm -hmm. something you would see in Porto Carreros like that he was so just passionate about it he would sometimes I guess just grab his his tube his tube and do this and just do that and I do that sometimes yeah. but pro probably just yeah. on the most outer layer one once it gives it's it some dimension done. and uh, oh yeah like what you did here too yeah with the dark color exactly there, yeah and as we go along because mm -hmm. this is still I have to work quite a bit on this mm -hmm. but as we go along then you'll see sure. like the end result it's gonna be thicker and it's gonna have mm -hmm. different layers More and depth. Tech. yeah. So you will just leave that like that. Yeah. And build around that. That's cool. Yeah. 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 It's spring. My allergies. Are, my voice sounds plugged up. I don't have a cold. It's just uh, allergens. Um, yeah. Every morning, but as the day progresses, they kind of lessen. But in the first part of the day, and today is Easter. Happy Easter, everybody. But uh, yeah, just spring is in the air. And flowers, and the pollens from the flowers, they make me sneeze. But not these flowers. No, these certainly won't. No. Oh. oh, that's cool. That's kind of like your little palette. Yeah. 
I use anything. <laughs> Any, I've exactly. been always very, very unorthodox. That. Totally, I noticed that. I you're, don't use the typical You achieve stand. a great result. How do though? you call those stands? Um, an easel. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I would never use that. Yeah, you always paint flat. Oh, yeah. And you know why? Also right. because mainly I sort of wanted to paint big formats, mm -hmm. really big paintings. Yeah. This is really relatively small for uh -huh. what I usually do. Uh -huh. But um, so it was very convenient sure. in my atelier. Yes. I always had like a big flat table, quite uh -huh. high, uh -huh. and I find it much more comfortable. Yeah, whatever but works. Also because my painting doesn't require that sort of precision. You know yeah. what I mean? If you paint little, little, tiny yeah, things, yeah, it's intricate, intricacy yeah, then and you would precision. need a certain totally. Yeah. I mean, I've seen your work when it's finished. It's beautiful. I mean, there's. Thank you. Yeah. That's nice of you to say. See, so that's what we're doing today. Mm-hmm. Little by little, each day, we poke away. Yeah. Let's get another color. From another me. color. Yeah. Okay. And then we let it dry. All right. More. This and is kind of like our makeshift record room slash. Yeah. Atelier. Yeah. Is that the proper term for? Yeah, I'll tell you. Exactly. Yeah. see it kind of from this perspective sort of okay mm -hmm. this is going to be very colorful this one the pinks and reds and yellows the contrast yeah and, and then we'll incorporate red. more blue into mm -hmm. it as well yeah for sure. yeah okay I think for today. That's enough for today? Yeah, because That's we great. have to go to visit Donna, so yeah. yeah. We're off to my sister's yeah. for Easter dinner with my family. And uh, yeah. And see you soon. Bye bye. Bye.